press ready here and a mute button. Hey, Amen. This is Tuesday night, and that is uh, Developing Unwavering Faith Night with Reverend Sanford Dickerson. Brother Dickerson, you ready? Yes, sir. Pastor, good evening to you, and grace and peace unto you, and grace and peace to all the Zionites who may be online, and families, grace and peace to all the guests who may be online. Also, I pray all is well with you and your families. I pray the Lord is blessing you and keeping you while you're going through whatever you're dealing with, and I'm encouraging you and keep encouraging you to keep on praying, keep on believing for your breakthrough, and I believe God will see you through it. And I pray that you had a wonderful and blessed and safe day. If you have your Bibles, please turn with me to 2 Chronicles 7, 14. 2 Chronicles 7, 14. There'll be some other scripture I'm going to read, but this is the main one I want to deal with. And if you can stand, stand for the reading of God's word. 2 Chronicles 7, 14. And it says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. You don't have to turn to this, but Mark eleven twenty four 24 says, Therefore I say unto you, what so things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and ye shall have them. First John 5, 14 and 15 says, Now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we ask of him. My brothers and sisters, family and friends, I have mentioned this before, and it's going to be a play on a song. This, this message, this title will be a play on a song. You've all heard it. You all know it. The blood still works. And so I, I taught on this before, using the word still works. Well, today, using the same thing, and I, I told you before, I saw a YouTube uh, thing where puppets were doing the song. Uh, the blood still works, and it, it, it cracked me up because the puppets were really going at it when they got to their reframe, and, and it was just awesome. And as I was listening to that song, I said, oh, wow, you know what? The word still works. And as I was going over what I'm going to do today, I said, you know what? Hmm, prayer still works. So the title of my message tonight is Prayer Still Works. Prayer still works. You know, that's, I think that's very important. We need to know that and remember that, especially when it comes to developing unwavering faith, that, hey, prayer still works. You know as well as I know, uh, as you live out your Christian journey, you will face or be faced with all kind of, uh, being confronted with all kinds of unpleasant challenges and issues such as one thing is your health, your job, your finances, your marriage, your kids, and with your relationships, and many other unknown, unforeseen issues, better known as trials, tribulation, and persecutions. This should not come uh, as a surprise to anyone, for that is what? Just life. J for Jesus tells us, these things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world, you will have tribulation or trials or persecutions, I may add, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world, John 16, 33. If you know Jesus as your Savior and Lord of your life, you can be of good cheer and, and, and confronted or yeah, comforted, excuse me, by knowing you too can overcome and have the victory over the world as well as over all your trials, your tribulations, and your persecutions, because prayer still works. You can be of good cheer and, and will overcome and gain the victory over your negative circumstances, your negative issues, and your negative problems, because prayer still works. It is and was because of the word of God and prayer that you came into the knowledge of salvation by, be, by believing and accepting Jesus Christ into your heart and life. And it is by prayer and the same word of God that will heal you, deliver you, and set you free. Why? 
because prayer still works. However, in order for prayer to work in your life, helping you to deal with and overcome your negative situations and issues, problems and circumstances, you are going to have to pray and pray often and pray consistently. And as you do, pray God's word on whatever you're dealing with. However, I caution you. And then this is my feelings about this. You do what you want to do with this. But you go to God for this if you have an issue with this. However, praying often and consistently, here we go, does not mean praying over and over and over again the same thing. For that is nothing but vain repetition. You do not have to keep asking God for the same thing over and over and over again. For example, there's no need to keep asking him, Lord, please heal me. Lord, please heal me. Lord, please heal me. Now, I'm not making fun of that or anything. I, I know uh, sickness and disease is serious. And yes, we all want to be healed from what I'm just trying to say to you is by faith, believe God was, is going to heal you just from asking him and talking to him about it. You don't have to keep going to him about it every day. Lord, please heal me. He knows you need healing. Let me get ahead of myself. Again, that is my opinion. Here we go. Is, it is of my opinion that it is faithless in a vain repetition. It is unnecessary to keep asking or praying to God over and over and over again for the same thing. After all, my brothers and family friends, isn't he the El Shaddai, the, the almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth, the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, the bright and morning star, the prince of peace, the everlasting father, the king of kings, and the Lord of lords. Isn't he the great I am? He is what? Omnipresent, always present. And he is, as shall I say, if he is omnipresent, always present, and he is, and if he's omniscient, all-knowing, and he is, and if he is omnipotent, all-powerful, and he is, then know this. He heard you the first time you prayed, and he knows you need healing or whatever you are in need of. When praying, here we go, you need to, by faith, believe while praying you received what you prayed for, and Jesus, not Reverend, Reverend Dickerson, but Jesus says you shall have it, which includes your healing. That is faith, my brothers and sisters, fine friends. That's faith. Praying over and over and over again for the same thing is not faith, but is nothing more than doubt and unbelief going nowhere to happen. It is only because, here we go. The answer to your prayer hasn't come to pass yet or hasn't manifested or materialized or hasn't come soon enough for you. And so because of your doubt and unbelief, here we go, you feel you need to keep asking or praying to God about it, thinking it's going to make him move faster to bring it to pass. Trust me, I'm brothers and sisters, fine friends. It won't. God honors faith, not vain repetitions. Again, when you are praying, you need to be praying his word. And so how do you pray his word, you may be asking or thinking? Mm -hmm. You pray the word by doing what 2 Chronicles 7, 14 says. He says, humble yourself, then pray. Seek his face or seek after him and turn from your wicked ways. And then he will hear your prayer request, I'm paraphrasing, and he will answer you. You then must also do what Joshua 1 8 says. You must speak the word, meditate the word, and do or act on the word. And you do this, here we go, while you are while you are doing what Mark 11 24 says. Mm -hmm. Which is what? When you pray, you have you believe that you receive what you pray for while you're praying. And Jesus says, you shall have it. You can be healed from whatever sickness or disease you are dealing with because prayer still works. You can overcome marital issues because prayer 
still works. You can overcome financial issues because prayer still works. You can overcome family and other relationship issues because prayer still works. You can overcome job issues because prayer still works. You can overcome whatever trials, whatever tribulations, whatever persecutions you are confronted with in your life because prayer still works. You can overcome any type of negative situation, negative problem, or negative circumstance because prayer still works. Your mind can be in perfect peace because prayer still works. You can have joy unspeakable and full of glory because prayer still works. You can fight the good fight of faith because prayer still works. I know someone may have just gotten some, I know, bad news about something. But no matter how bad it is or how threatening it is, know this, prayer still works. No matter what you are dealing with, you can overcome it instead of it overcoming you. And you can gain the victory over it instead of it defeating you. When you put his word on it and pray, because prayer still works. Working the word by applying the word to your negative situation, your negative problem, your negative circumstances, as you pray about them will cause your negative situation, problem, or circumstance to turn around in your favor. When you realize and remember that prayer still works. So no matter what you, no matter what, you must have faith in God. This is what? Developing unwavering faith. We're trying to grow in our faith every day by practicing it, right? Trusting him to bring your healing to pass and bring you through whatever you need him to bring you through. Why? Because prayer still works. What else, my brothers and family friends, are you going to do? If you could do something else, you have already done it by now, and you probably would already what? Be healed or receive whatever it is you've been praying for. However, you know that is not happening. So you have no choice but to continue to trust and believe God in faith, standing and having done all to stand until you receive your healing or overcome whatever you need to overcome in your life. And as you do, remember, prayer still works. I know prayer still works because just like in the refrain of the song, the blood still works, where it says, I know blood still works because it saved me. Well, guess what? Prayer still works because it saved me. I know it works because it healed me. I know it works because it delivered me. I know prayer still works because it has set me free. Prayer still works if you work it, just like as the blood still works and it shall never lose its power, prayer still works and it too shall never, never, I say again, never lose its power. Prayer still works. Let's pray. Our Father God, thank you for this time. I thank you for this word. I thank you, Father, for instilling me to bring it forth this word, to bring it to, to your people then tonight. Lord, I thank you for using me this night. I thank you, Father, for all who are on the line. I pray that it has blessed them, has encouraged them, has uplifted them, given them something else to think about as they go before you in prayer and knowing that no matter what they're dealing with, that prayer still works. And so, Father, we ask you to help us get, have a, a prayer attitude, a prayer mindset, uh, and, a, and, a, and a prayer uh, of, of faith where we continue to go to you in prayer, knowing that no matter what's going on, we can stop and pray to you and let you have it and, and be comforted and encouraged through our prayers to you. We thank you. We praise you. We give your name all the honor, glory, and praise again for this night's ser service and message. Lord, I ask you to continue again, as always, bless and touch our pastor and his family, as well as all the Zionites and their families and all the guests who may be online and their families. Lord, we ask you to touch and bless those who are going through bereavement. There seems to be a lot of it going on around us right now. And we ask you uh, that you continue to bless the Westcott family as we laid the rest, uh, and Cooper family as we laid the rest, uh, Tracy let yesterday, and uh, continue to bless the Moore family, and any other families that I'm not mentioning here, I'm sorry that I don't remember, but bless them also as well, Lord, in the name of Jesus, comfort and strengthen them, bless all those who are going through heal, uh, sickness and disease, that you will heal them from the top of the head to the sole of their very feet. Thank you, Lord, for all you're doing as I am. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your comfort. Thank you for blessing us and keeping us, making a way out of no way, bringing us through when it seems like there's no way to come through. We thank you, Father. We give your name all the honor, glory, and praise. And again, we thank you for all that you're doing. 
and we give your name all the honor, glory, and praise. And by faith, all these petitions and desires we ask of you, we ask it in faith, believing and receiving it and claiming it done by faith. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 And remember, saints, all things are possible to him, the hurt of those of them that believe. Why? Because there's absolutely positively nothing too hard for the Lord. Never stop praying. Never stop believing. Never, ever, ever give up. Why? Because your healing, your miracle, and your deliverance is on its way as long as you don't stop praying, stop believing. And never, ever give up. And remember, prayer still works. And I hope this Friday I find you in a space in the healing place for healing school this, this Friday, uh, uh, yeah, June 16th at 7 p.m. God bless you. God bless you. And I'll talk to you next time. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Okay, Friday Amen. night, we're having a healing night uh, here at the school here at the church. So uh, come and here at 7 o'clock. Hey, what's going on there, Gabby? God bless Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Have a good night, everybody. We'll see you in the morning. All right now. Have a safe flight tomorrow, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you.